Hi guys, welcome to this video on the mass of the atom, where we're going to be focusing on where the mass is found within the atom. So if we focus on the atom lithium then, which has got a mass number of 7, which is the number of particles in the middle, and the bottom number of 3, so that means we've got 3 protons and 3 electrons around the outside, I know that because the number of protons and neutrons is the mass number, if I've got 3 protons, I've got to have 4 neutrons in there. Now you should also remember that electrons effectively have a mass of zero and protons and neutrons both have a mass of one. So if I've got four neutrons, I have a mass of four. If I have three protons, I have a mass of three. You add all that together, it gives you seven overall. So the mass number is the number of protons and neutrons added together. And the reason that electrons don't come into it is because the mass is tiny, negligible, we don't include it. Okay, let's have a look at an example question then. So the question here says the size of a nucleus is tiny compared to that of the whole atom. Most of the mass is found in the nucleus and then it splits off into four sub-questions. So A, what is the mass of a proton? B, what is the mass of an electron? And C, what is the mass of a neutron? You've got one mark for each of those. And then D, an element has six protons, eight neutrons and six electrons. What is the mass number of the atom? So pause the video, have a think, have a go at it and then we'll see if you're right in a minute. Okay, let's have a look then. So if we start off with what is the mass of a proton, that's just basic remembering that it's 1. The electron is either 1 divided by 1837 or 0. You'd have got the mark for either of those. The mass of a neutron is 1. And then here, for D, they've actually thrown in a little bit to try and confuse you. They've said you've got 6 electrons. Because we're saying the mass is effectively 0, you don't include that. So what you do is you take the protons, which is 6 times 1, and neutrons 8 times 1 and add them together, which is your first mark, which gives you 14. One mark for that, one mark for that. In most exams, just getting the correct answer would get you both marks. Okay, hopefully that has helped you with this area. If you are feeling confident with it, then move on to the review section. If not, go back and watch the video again. And the review question is, Boron has a mass number of 11 and an atomic number of 5. Use this to draw the atom and explain how you worked out the number of subatomic particles in the nucleus. Have a go at that and let me know if you need any help. That's the end of this video. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.